All right, just a quick sneak peek of one of the new features um, coming to the Profit OS 5 library in the next update. So I actually have a lot of stuff getting added, which is part of the reason it's taken a little while. Um, so what I've done, uh, this in particular, this is my uh, flame control style with the real flame color, which is a gradient flame that's meant to be uh, similar to a real fire. Uh, but this is going to be an updated version for OS 5. So the original was in OS 4. I've actually made a bunch of updates to the controls as well as some new features on this. Um, so with the real flame, when your, fl when your saber is pointing straight up, the flame will be at its quickest, uh, moving upward. And then as you move that angle down, it will actually slow the flame. And if you start moving below parallel, the flame will actually start working back up on itself and shrinking until you get pointing straight down, the flame will actually be at its smallest and slowest. Now, I've uh, updated just it to allow you to do regular enhancement to this, but one of the new enhancements that's coming is actually tied to another feature that's getting added. So, uh, typically, um, we've had the swing speed feature since OS 3. Um, and what swing speed would do is that if you moved your blade based on the speed of the blade, it would actually change the color, brighten the blade, do new effects. Um, what I'm doing now for OS 5 is there's actually going to be an enhanced swing speed. Um, so what it does is it allows you to move your blade normally like this, just to allow you to take advantage of these effects without changing anything. But if you put speed to the swing, it'll actually then apply um, a new effect. So um, it allows you to do normal movements, you know, regular movements, but if you apply speed, now this is going to be a new blue flame, and the idea was off of a video that I had seen that somebody uh, linked um, where they had an actual fire on a real sword. Um, so when you swing this one quickly, the flame's actually going to turn to a yellowish blue. Um, it doesn't do it with normal movement, but if you swing quickly, it will. So the enhanced swing that's coming will actually let you have that effect so that you can do normal movements without changing color, but as soon as you pick up speed, it will then apply, and it still uses the responsive swing. It's just uh, the enhanced version lets you do normal slower movements without anything. The faster movements will then apply, and it's still based on speed. So if you go a little quick, you'll see a little bit of blue. If I go really quick, it'll get really bright, bright and blue. Um, so um, the new enhanced swing is coming to the library. And then another feature, which I don't have on this blade that's coming, is actually the ability to toggle the swing effects on and off permanently. So we do have force boost. Um, in the library, there's going to be two new options. It'll be force toggle on and force toggle off. And what that does is it lets you use the force effect to actually turn on the swing effect or turn it off. Um, and then I have a bunch of other new stuff that's coming to the library. But I wanted to show this one because I got the new enhanced swing working. Um, and the, the biggest feature is going to be the fact that now you can have your blade moving around normally without changing the color. It's only when you get that quicker swing that you'll get, in this case, the new blue flame. That'll be another enhancement that you can add. Um, so lots of stuff coming. Um, I'm doing a bunch of building, a bunch of testing. Um, I hope to have the, the next big update to the library pushing later this week. Um, but as I get everything done, I'll make more announcements, and then once the library is ready with this new effect and all the other effects, I'll do a formal announcement. Um, but there is a lot of stuff coming to the OS 5 library, um, so definitely uh, you know, keep a watch on my channel, and uh, hope you enjoy.